everybody, it's your boy Titanic and Fee Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. There's a couple ways you can follow me along this journey. Right here on YouTube is one of them. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post a video here on YouTube. And at the bottom of the screen, there's a list of my socials. You can follow me there as well. And now on the screen is the Discord group. You can catch me in there as well. The Family Vibe Discord group. It provides a lot of great information for you guys to cop sneakers at retail or close to it with a little assistance. Any interest, the link is down in the description. You can click on it, message the Instagram page, or you can ask myself now today this is another episode of the reach back the reach back is when a sneaker ass release and for whatever reason i was not able to cop on release day i.e the stock numbers are i just wasn't able to cop it now today's sneaker is a very popular one and this one is near and dearest to my heart it released in may of 2015 and that was a rough time for me in my personal life. It's an Air Jordan 1, black box red lettering. Yep, and this is the size and tag, old school size and tag. Yeah, when this sneaker released, I just was a, I was just out of it. And the size and tag reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Color White Black Varsity Red. And you can see what the retail was back in 2015, 160 US dollars. And that has risen these days to 180. Box top, we have no live stamp here. We got the tissue, smooth on one side, rough on the other. Got my authentication card. Reached out to Uncle Billy Goat. Uncle Billy Goat took care of me. I had some gold credits, and uh, when the price was right, I was able to get the sneaker at the price I was comfortable with. And there's the Goat sticker right there. Also inside the box, no uh, YDM sticker. Let's bring on the sneaker. Yes, we have the 2015 Air Jordan 1 Chicago. And I know the uh, Lost and Found or the whatever the nickname is, is set to come out later this year. But uh, I have these. You could never put a price on these. These will never leave my collection. And we're gonna start, this shoe is on an all white base. You have white on your quarter panel right here. You have a black leather swoosh going on right here. You have the Jordan Wings logo branded on right here in the black colorway. You have red going around your ankle collar, your heel, down your lace eyelets on your side panel, as well as that mud guard. You have a white midsole with the uh, red at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You have an all red outsole, Jordan on outsoles, tend to stay the same for every release. Looking at the uh, heel of the sneaker, more of that beautiful red colorway going around the heel and the ankle like I mentioned before. But in addition to that, you have the black going around the top, the padding going around that ankle. Looking at the medial side of the sneaker, you have more of that white leather on your uh, quarter panel and you have the black Nike swoosh, which is connected with the one from the other side under this little hit right here. And you have a little black hit there and more of that red leather coming around the ankle collar from the other side, down your lace eyelets and on the side panel and as well as the toe box. And the uh, leather is a nice little thick cut leather, white on your midsole and red at the very bottom. Here's your cardboard shoe tree. This is what it looked like back then. Jordan Jumpman. It says 12 and a half, 14 as the size. And we do not have die cut sock liner or molded or whatever. 
it have underneath there. This is the toolbox. Great leather. And this, you can see how thick the cut is on these. Comes factory lace with black laces. It also comes with additional laces. It'll fix to the left sneaker. You can see back then, this is how the sneakers will come in. We got one white lace, one red lace in the bag. This is how it rolled up. Comes on the left sneaker. And we have a white tongue, but this, uh, this shoe is seven years old now, so it's starting to age is what they were going for with the lost and found uh, pair that's coming out later this year. And we have a woven patch in the red colorway with Nike Air branding in the white. Turn it around, there you go, they're writing. Nice little uh, padding. And you do have a black sock liner going all the way around. And let's see, we can read that. Uh, there you go, look at that sizing tag. That's how it looked back then. We got a US size 14, production date December 10th of 2014 to February 15th of 2015. So a couple months of production with these. I'm gonna take a look at the insert. You have a white insert black Nike Air branding and you do have a sizing sticker on here so this is another episode of the reach back coming to an end let me know what y'all think of this sneaker this is a very special sneaker to me so it's up there in my collection it is on display here but uh this is as good as it gets for me so let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. Let me know if you have any collection and how did the release go for you back in 2015, if you guys can remember, or if you were even in the sneaker game back then. But uh, leave that in the comment section. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.